Hey guys, so I got some. You guys can see it. Let me see, turn my damn light on. These things on my face. And huh, that's all, folks. So, I'm going to a party, actually. Halloween party. I got to help serve the children. So, I'm headed over there. But I wanted to kind of break down. I wanted to kind of break down the cash flow quadrant. The cash flow quadrant, guys, right? What is it? <clears throat> Nobody really knows because people have never really heard of it. So nobody really knows what it is. When I do meetings and I do seminars with adults and I show them a cash flow quadrant, all it is is a line, a T, and then you fill the four boxes, E-S-B-I, right? I learned about the cash flow quadrant, I wanna say about my first years in business, which was about 2010, maybe 2011. And I saw it, but I didn't study it. And then I got um, The Conspiracy to Be Rich, which is by Robert Kiyosaki. He had it in that. Rich Dad Poor Dad talked about that. When I was doing real estate, they talked about it. So then I started kind of like understanding it, right? But now I have the full grasping concept of what the cash flow quadrant is. Employees and self-employed people are on one side, which is the wrong side for a reason. Employees trade hours for dollars. Self-employed people trade hours for dollars. Who are employees? People that have jobs. That's employees. Self-employed people are mechanics, doctors, lawyers, hairstylists, nail estheticians, home uh, health care, babysitters, uh, you know, what else? People that own uh, gas, you know, station, they're self, you know, self-employed. So whoever needs people to either provide a product and or service for them are considered self-employed because the only way they can make money is only if they have a client. So say, you know, my hairstylist, right? The only way she makes money if I come in or if other clients, you know, come in so that she can do their hair. If nobody comes in, she doesn't make any money, right? So it's called trading hours for dollars. Now the left side, well, the right side is for business owners and investors. And that literally only makes up 5% of the damn population, right? <laughs> the left side makes up damn near, <laughs> shit, damn near 95% of the population. And then business owners and investors make up 5% of the populations. So business owners have systems that run for them, are able to leverage time, able to have options, and able to also have some freedom and money, right? So investors, all they do is invest their money so it can grow. Investors use other people money that so they can invest so it can grow. Business owners use other people money so that we can go grow our business, right? Or start a business or make our business thrive. We use leverage, okay? And we use people. Business owners use leverage and we use people, okay, to leverage, okay? On the right side, where business owners and investors are, is something called passive income. Passive income. Say that again. It's something called passive income. So that means you do something once. And you get paid over and over and over and over and over again, okay? From doing something once, okay? Employees cannot do something once and get paid over and over again. Self-employed people, they cannot do someone's hair once and then that person pays them over and over again. No, they gotta pay. <laughs> They get paid from that person. And if that person want their hair done again, they got to do that person's hair. 
right? So this is why, you know, I'm passionate about teaching people how to get on the right side of money, right? That's why I'm an Amazon seller. So I don't physically need to be there to make the sale. It runs on autopilot. My affiliate marketing business runs on autopilot, okay? Literally, okay? My businesses that I have run on autopilot, right? Now, I do train and I coach people, right? So, so at the end of the day, guys, we have to understand leveraging people, right? And having leverage, right, for our time. So the right side, right, is becoming a business owner and investor. Now, I teach people how to start their business part-time. Just part-time. Right? Not living on a wish and a prayer, but just starting a real true business part-time. You could be an employee, you could be self-employed, but start you a business. The only difference with self-employed is that now they own their time, but they don't have money. They don't have options. I have lawyer teammates who work all the time. Because they have to make money. And if they don't, <laughs> if they don't have a client, they won't make money, right? So even my lawyer, you know, my, my lawyer teammate, like I'm teaching him how to now leverage his clients. He needs to have an auto ship meant for his clients, for his service. Whether it's $7 a month, $20 a month, $50 a month. They got him on a retainer for $50 a month every month, right? And then they get discounts, but they're paying at least $50 a month for his services. You see? So now he can tap into the, the business owner side. He can tap now into the business owner side and leverage people and leverage money. So automatically he can have the money coming out of his, of, of his client's bank account every single month without him having to call them, text them, email. So he's making passive income while he's serving. The more clients he get, the more passive income he can have. And then he can offer his clients all these different kind of services. 25% off hair, 10% off hair, you know, maybe, you know, you trade something, you do something for me or whatever, whatever partnership. This is how it works. This is how it works. This is how it works, guys. This is how it works. This is how it works. Okay? Learning to leverage. My mentor said, if you cannot leverage your brain cells, if you can't package up your brain cells and sell it to people to give people value, not just packaging up garbage, not just packaging up anything because you think it sound good. No, some valuable information. And this is why I tell people that you have to invest in yourself. How do you build value? How do you build value? Why has it been so valuable? And why is a Toyota not valuable, right? You have to build up your value by investing in yourself, getting around people who are operating 10 times higher than you, reading books, buying courses, right? To build up your value so you can sell your brain cells, leverage your brain cells. That's the only way. Nobody's going to pay you if you never invested at least a thousand in yourself. Nobody's going to pay you. They ain't going to see no value in you. They're going to think you a bullshitter. They're going to think you're a scam artist. So in order to package up your brain cells, you got to know some shit. You can't be out here trying to scam people. I ain't out here scamming people. You have to know shit so that people can say, you know what? I'm willing to pay Tanisha or I'm willing to pay whoever because they know something that I don't know. So I'm going to pay them for what they know. That's what we do when we go to college. We pay the professor for what they know. Or we pay the college so the professor is hired to teach us what the college wants us to know. That's all you're doing. All right.
And when you buy trainings and courses that literally takes out a year, two, or three years of headache from you trying to figure it out all by yourself. Right? So it, it takes, you have to add value to yourself, guys. You got to literally, come on, come on, boo boo. You got to literally add value to yourself, guys. If you don't add value, right, to yourself, you are worth less. And nobody will ever pay you nothing. You can't even get your kids to give you a dollar. Right? Because don't nobody see no value in you. So being on the business side, guys, allows you to leverage your brain cells, and it's a lovely thing. I leverage my brain cells on a daily basis. People call me to pay me every day on a daily basis, right? I'm not out here faking the funk or faking the fraud or whatever the fuck they call it, right? I learn something, so that means I invest my money, I do it, get some results and then I'm able to teach people so they can get some results and then just rinse wash repeat you do the same thing it's enough money out here guys for everybody so the wrong side of the quadrant is trading hours for dollars the right side of the quadrant guys is leveraging your brain cells leveraging time leveraging people and leveraging money go to rockwithtanisha.com you need to learn social media marketing. You need to learn how to add value. You need to understand your value. You need to understand the value ladder. You need to understand how money works. Go to rockwithtanisha.com, watch the webinar, guys. Get yourself involved with something that's going to help you and your family to do something new. Simple as that. Love you guys. See you soon.